Hi, this is Desiree Savory, your virtual technology and accountability coach. And I'm here to show you how you can add the IBS and the consumer protection notice to your Facebook page, your business page, and to other social network platforms. So the first thing you want to do is to create the source. And by that, I mean, have the IBS and consumer protection notice already generated for access. The reason being is because you're going to need to be able to have it on more than one site. You're going to be able to have it on your Instagram page, your Twitter page, and other sites for easy access. Facebook is just one place. So the first thing I would suggest you do is to get a free account at this location called Linktree, L-I-N-K-T-R dot E-E, L-I-N-K-T-R dot E-E. You can get a free account here. No need to upgrade unless you want the special backgrounds and tracking and so forth. You can see the options that they'll give you if you decide that you want to go ahead and upgrade. So you'll go to L-I-N-K-T-R dot E-E and create a, an account at Linktree. So once you do that, you'll be able to log in at Linktree and it will look like this. You'll see your login here. And in Linktree, um, you'll be able to add as many website resources as you'd like. This is my account that you're looking at here. Um, you'll be able to drag the, exist the accounts around. Once you've added the website addresses, you can drag them around and put them in the order that you want them to be in. So for that example, what I'm going to show you is how you will add the IBS and consumer protection notice in your Linktree account so that it's accessible in any, so any social media platform you add, or even if you decided to add it in your email signature above your email signature. The source of the IBS and consumer protection notice is going to be in your HR login. Uh, as a member of HAR, you get this option. The HAR makes it very, very uh, convenient for you. So once you log in, you don't even have to be a Platinum member. Once you log in at your HAR membership, you're going to come over to the left and you can go under My Account. And under here, you'll just go under Account Information. And then you'll see Information about Brokerage Services. And in here, there's going to be two pink buttons that's going to give you the website addresses that you'll be using to add in your IBS and consumer protection notice. And you'll be copying each one of these and making separate links in your link tree account. Um, just to show you, since we're already here, if you're actually adding it to a website, you could come down here and you'll see where it says, get the HTML code. And this can be dumped on a page on your website so that uh, both can be shown at the same time. We're not covering that today, but I just wanted you to see how easily it would be for you to copy code and add it to a website. But as you can see right here, these two links, this pink one here and this pink one here, are the two links that we're going to be adding. So I'm going to just be lazy and I'm going to copy the uh, information of brokerage service description. I'm going to copy that and I'm going to go over to Linktree and we're going to add a link. So I'm going to click on add link. And I'm going to put the title by pasting it in here. That way I have it. And I'm going to go back over here. And you notice what we're using the tab. So I have my source, which is uh, HAR, my destination, which is Linktree. Going back to my source, very easily, I'm just going to click on the word copy URL or the button here, this pink button. And now it's copied. Go back over to the Linktree and I will paste this URL here. So now I have the link paste. Now, how do I get this to be activated? Just click away from it. And now that link is created. And with that link created, you'll see over here to the right, it's giving you a preview as what it's gonna look like on a mobile device or even on a computer. I'll do the same thing again. If I co come over here and go back into my uh, um, login here at HAR, I'm going to get the uh, Texas Real Estate Commission Consumer Protection Notice. Um, actually, I want to have all the words. I know this just says Consumer Protection Notice, but I want to get all of it. So I'm going to come back and I'm going to start a new link and I'm going to type in Texas Real Estate 
information. I want to make sure all that's in there, consumer protection notice. So I want to have all of that in there. And then I'm going to uh, get the link. So I'm going to click on copy URL, which is that pink button, and come back over and paste the link here. So now that that link is pasted here, click outside of it. And now I have both links are now here. So we've got the Texas Real Estate Commission Consumer Protection Notice, and I have the information about brokerage services. Both links are now on the URL uh, area here. As I said, you can drag these around if you want. If you have other links that you want to show, your website links, your blog links, things like that, you can pull them and put them in the order that suits you. You're going to be going into the settings area. You're going to be going in here and adding your photo. You're going to go into the, pre the, the appearance area and you can change uh, with the, the areas that are not pro and you can change the background uh, that you, you know, and use the background that you want. You're going to add your picture. And once you add your image, that's going to be the image that will be reflected at the very top center of this link once it's posted. At the very top right corner, you'll see your link link your link tree URL. The link tree URL, the website address that you're going to be able to use when you share your link tree um, website address. So for example, uh, when you copy this, um, when you hit the share button, it's going to allow you to copy the link or you can actually download the QR code. Now, if I copy this link, I can go now into a Facebook page. This is the training page that I use when I'm teaching pages. So this one's not public since I'm not a realtor, uh, but I use this. This is what it's going to look like once it's actually posted. So let's, let's look at how you actually put this on your page. When you don't have the minimum amount of, uh, of um, followers on your page or likes on your page, you cannot uh, use third party uh, vendors. I highly recommend you don't use third party vendors anyway, because Facebook continues to make changes to those third party vendors. So you want to go ahead and um, use the what I would call the native apps within Facebook. So what you're going to do is you're going to create a post. So you click here uh, because you need at least 2000 uh, likes or followers in order to have the right amount of, uh, of uh, people to use third party uh, vendors and Facebook continues to change all the time. So you're guaranteed a better, um, better uh, opportunity for longevity. If you use the, the uh, native applications that Facebook designs and one of the, the, uh, applications that I have that's probably never going anywhere, of course, is creating a post. So I'm going to click here to create a post. And in here, what you're going to do is you're going to write something like legal notices, right? And when you type that in, you can put the link or you can type something like click here to review the information about brokerage services and the Texas Real Estate Commission Consumer Protection Notice. Oops. So when you type that in, you're going to now paste that link. I'm using a Mac, so I'm doing Command V. If you're on a Windows computer, you do Control V. So I'm pasting the link, and it's going to take your uh, profile image and use that as the link, and you'll see it's Linktree. That's going to put a link to your Linktree URL, your Linktree website address. Post it. Once you've posted it, it'll be the latest post that you've made on your page. So what you do at that point, and this is the important part, you must do this. You'll see three buttons at the top right corner of the post. You're going to click on those three buttons. And then after you've clicked on those three buttons, you'll come over and you're going to click on uh, the button to say pin to the top. So let me refresh this here because I, I think because I already have one, it's not showing you the latest. Okay. So you're going to click on this button here and oops, sorry. 
this one right here this is the latest one excuse me you're going to click on the button you're going to click on pin to top of page um so when you click on click pin to top of page it's going to become the latest um the latest post that you've made on your page okay so when you click on these three uh buttons here these three dots it'll say pin to top of page and what that means is that it will be the pinned post at the top of your page because now every time you add a new post all your latest posts will be below all your latest posts will be below that pinned post now you'll be in compliance uh, with trek because trek needs to know that you are uh, making the best possible effort to display your legal notice on your social media platforms so that takes care of a place like facebook so what you'll do on somewhere like instagram for example if you're on instagram i'll show you this and you'll be able to do the same thing on twitter um, and LinkedIn and so forth is you'll go to your profile page and all you're going to do is add it. You'll add the link right there on your um, Instagram business page. Make sure you've converted your page into a business page on your phone. You'll have to use your phone to convert it into a business page by going into the settings here at the top right hand corner and um, changing it. But once you've converted it in, um, either way, you can put the link in the profile, but you should have a business Instagram account as a realtor. So here you do. You're going to have that actually added right in here. And that will take care of making sure you're compliant. So what will happen is when somebody goes to your profile page, whether they're on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, um, any of your social media platforms, they'll see it. You want to make sure that your uh, blog um, if you have an extra a blog or if you have a website, that they all have the IABS and Consumer Protection Notice there too, if it relates to real estate. So what will happen if somebody comes in and clicks on this link, it'll take them straight into your Linktree account. They will see the links to the Texas Real Estate Commission Consumer Protection Notice and the IABS. They click on them. It'll open straight up into the uh, URLs that are presented there and you will be in compliance. If you have any questions, feel free to send me an email. Just go to my website at DesireeSiri.com, and if you scroll down, you'll see there'll be a place here you can send me an email. Thank you so much. This is Desiree Savory, your virtual technology and accountability coach. Thank you.